Now I had some education, some organizational skills, so back then they didn't have these MASH units, but they had these uh, portable surgeon, surgical units that were close to the front lines, and that's where they put me to keep track of inventory. Sometimes we'd run short, so they put me on border patrol. One night I was out on uh, border patrol, and I turned around and there was a crowd standing right there. I didn't uh, think, I just reacted. I stuck my bayonet in the straw. I watched him die. Eyes were open, but he was dead. I couldn't find any weapons on him, but I took his wallet. It was kind of common. I finished my time. I was there till the war ended. When I got back home, me and Lizzie, we bought one of those televisions. What was popular at the time was this new game show called uh, Truth or Consequences. And the first night we had that TV, we were laughing. And then all of a sudden I was bawling. She turned off the little TV and came and sat by me. She knew something was wrong. Couldn't stop crying. I told her I'd killed a man. It's no small thing. There's a reason our vets have such issues with post traumatic stress. I got up and got that word. And I showed Lizzie a picture I'd found in it of a, this guy I killed and his wife and two boys. And I said, I don't know if he's any different than me. Maybe I was fighting for a country I loved and he was fighting because he had to, but. I decided that uh, for my own health I needed to try and find her. It took 15 years. I got a lead and sent off a letter with a copy of the picture. Asking if that was her and she wrote back and said yes it was. And she went on to tell me that there were Jews hiding, masquerading as Germans. And see the plan was he would get to the front line and turn himself in. That was my contribution to freeing the Jews. I killed one. Killed an innocent man. Well, um, I wrote her back and told her what I had done. And she wrote me back and said, I forgave you the moment I read it. It's part of the sausage making of war even if the war is the right one to fight for. And I could see her dried teardrops on the letter. (laughs) 
I still went. She sent me flowers when Leslie died. I sent her uh, flowers when both her boys died of cancer. The sausage making of war, even if it's the right war to fight. No one said the right thing doesn't come without sacrifice. Democracy is hard.